Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today in this video, we gonna learn about uh, codility and uh, we are going to solve uh, binary gap problem. So uh, usually in uh, codility when you want to hire in some company like Microsoft, uh, they, will give, they will give you uh, four uh, problem over uh, codility and uh, here you will uh, go and write your code and find out solution, run it and uh, find out that it really work or not your solution. So how it work, uh, you will direct to uh, one page like this and here uh, you will have one, you can start it. Here, uh, you know, because it's training task, uh, we have uh, 120 minutes, but usually in your exam, uh, it's going to be four scenario for one hour. Okay, so when we go inside, uh, we will have a panel like this. Uh, in the left side, you will have, uh, you know, scenario details. And uh, on the right side, you can write down your code. Also here, you have option to choose uh, your favorite uh, language or language you are more comfortable with. So we will go by Swift uh, today by, for this, uh, this channel is most uh, more about uh, Swift. And okay, so let's see what's the problem. So in a binary gap, uh, we usually uh, try to find out, uh, actually we, uh, we will get uh, one positive integer by the name of n, and in any uh, maximal sequence of uh, consecutive uh, zeros that is surrounded by ones at both ends in the binary uh, representation of n. So technically, when we convert n to, uh, you, know, um, you know, power of uh, two or binary, then we will have a uh, say of one and zero. Uh, we're looking for zero, uh, you know, uh, group of zero between two, one. So uh, here, if we want, uh, you'll see two example. For example, for n equal 1041, binary will be like this. So we're looking for, uh, you know, biggest, bigger, uh, zero. So this one you will see and so the answer for this will be 5. And for example for number 32 um, zero because uh, there is no uh, 2, 1. Okay, so uh, how we can write it here, uh, you know, so you will come on the right side and start your code. Uh, so uh, I have two solutions for that. In this video, we will go by um, both solutions. So what we do, uh, we here, we're going to write our code. And uh, let's start to declare one variable by the name of its uh, position and uh, it's going to be type of uh, integer actually array of uh, int and equal uh, empty array okay then also uh, we create a constant uh, by the name of uh, binary for example represent and it's gonna be a string of n and radix uh, you know radix of two okay so uh, after we make this uh, then we will write one for loop so in this for loop uh, we will put one index and uh, character 
and then we say this index in binary uh, no yeah uh, let me make this yeah like this okay and then we're gonna enumerate this To be able to uh, create a how to have a both index and character. Other than that, it's gonna give us uh, only value. And uh, here we say we see where character equal one. Okay, so in this for loop, uh, what we do? We just say bit position uh, append index so by this way we make our bit position uh, you know array so now uh, what I need, um, I'm gonna uh, create one variable uh, which is uh, my longest gap. Ling is not longest. And uh, type of integer, first I say, yeah, we, uh, we start with zero. And if uh, bit bit position dot count bigger or equal number two, then we create one for loop again. AI in zero to bit position count minus two. So in this, uh, you know, range, I just say let gap equal bit position dot count uh, sorry say gap is gonna be my, my equal my bit position i plus one minus bit position I minus one. Yes, yeah, so I find out uh, my gap and then I say if my gap was bigger than longest gap, then what I do, I just say my longest gap equal gap. Okay, so we count gaps and find out which one is the biggest. And finally, at the end, we're gonna return our longest gap. You know, you will see that, uh, you saw that uh, it's really uh, friendly even help you to type. But you need to be careful uh, that it uh, don't get, you know, wrong. Uh, you know, when you type, don't uh, auto full, uh, you know, auto complete, uh, don't make it uh, for you, you know, with the uh, wrong answer. Okay, uh, so uh, here you will see we have submit task and we have run test. In, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, submit task, this is what you do at the last. So first we run and make sure everything uh, running, 
uh, fine but here I got some syntax error and I'm gonna fix them so this one and also I got uh, this uh, so this n should be capital okay now let me run it to see if it's work or not yes you will see uh, for a tree uh, you know value uh, I got okay from that so most probably my solution is uh, good to go even here you can come to test input and you can put uh, you know uh, your test input uh, you know by yourself so each uh, line has a separate test case in this format so you know you will put your numbers here for example 1041 and for example 245 on actually thousand ten thousand four hundred twenty one ten and seven for example yeah let me run all of this and see uh, if I can get okay for all of them uh, yes uh, actually uh, we do actually say you know not it doesn't know you need to uh, know yourself that which one is correct so so, um, so uh, we can calculate it and find out if it's true or not uh, but uh, to keep this video short uh, I leave it for you to do it okay now uh, I'm uh, make I'm uh, you know pretty sure that it's working fine. Okay, something that uh, you need to do. They they don't only want you to write your code. They want you to explain for them what are you doing and your understanding from this code. So first of all, I advise you to write down time complexity because in exam uh, you know you will see that it's ask you to. Uh, you know tell us what is the time complexity and what is uh, you know memory uh, you know complexity so we have it uh, you know in uh, algorithm we learn that we have time complexity and space complexity so time complexity gonna be O notation D and also O notation D for a space and uh, just uh, you can write down uh, about uh, what is D so D you say where D is the number of digits in Okay, so yeah, uh, also uh, you uh, you know you can write down here what you do. For example, I divide this, uh, you know, uh, I create my uh, bit position array from uh, you know radix of the number. Uh, here, you know, binary rep. I create that one, uh, and then I you know made it in a way that I can do it. For sure, it's not going to be the best solution, but it's a solution. You can try better solution. Also, I made another video that uh, with other solution exactly for this scenario. Okay, let's uh, submit task and see what will be results. Uh, so when you submit, then uh, it will be out of your control uh, in exam, in uh, you know test. Uh, and uh, here, you, uh, you know, in test uh, drive, you will see you know uh, what you did and uh, you know how you uh, you know how was your scenario but in exam you won't see this part this part will be available for interviewer and they can analyze uh, yours so here you will see that it's got okay for all of them and uh, but it can't say what is the time complexity usually it's tell you what is the time complexity here but it doesn't say um, so you need to find out yourself so uh, we're done
with 100 uh, percent score but this uh, 100 score is only for this one so it's not compared with others and uh, yeah timeline here you can see your timeline also here you can see video of how you wrote your code and this is for interviewer to find out you know how you wrote this and uh, yeah that's it uh, i hope uh, you like this video and uh, don't forget to be subscribe and uh, give thumbs up to this uh, video if you like it and uh, yeah stay with us keep safe have a good one bye